Hey guys, it's Ayan. Since I started playing Ayan again, I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna level up. Then I remember the solo instance in Ingusin. I'm a couple of levels higher in there, but it still gives good XP. You can transform into a tree-like creature and your HP goes up to about 99,000. The mobs in there are 5 dot mobs and 1 dot elite mobs. You get temporary AoEs and other skills, so it's not too bad. The instance took me about 30 to 40 minutes. You can choose to kill everything in there if you like for loot or XP, but that's entirely up to you. This tree here gives you a quest. Once you enter, you get the talent fruit and a temporary power. It's a big AoE, which is really awesome. Let me demonstrate. There you go. Now, there's a mob up ahead that drops the single target temporary power and a corrosive fluid. There are two NPCs that you can choose from to help you. The one on the left is a tank and the one on the right is a healer. I picked the tank. So this fluid melts the cocoon around the NPC and he follows you around. You can't command him to do anything though. Thanks for rescuing me. The tree earlier will give you a quest called the Wounds of Change. You need to find the Talog soil all around the instance. These are the locations. There's six of them all together. Here's the first one. This 1 dot elite worm drops the third temporary power which is a shield. Just put this here. I wish I can just mass lead these. Here's the second talic soil. Here's the third talic soil. And the fourth talic soil. Ooh, cutscene. Take 
take extra care in this place, Deva. Things have reached a boiling point. King Quill has long been my friend, but... I can help, but only if you strike down King Quill. To withstand his formidable might, you must use the crater's energy. The yellow smoke will neutralize King Quid's defenses against physical attacks. The purple smoke will neutralize his defenses against magical attacks. King Quid's defenses are impenetrable. He cannot be defeated without the crater's energy. Defeat King Quid. Defeat my friend. Now it's time to kill the flying cuttlefish. I didn't really pay attention to the purple and green smoke thing because he doesn't really hurt you much and he dies pretty fast anyway. After you kill Kinkurit, there's an NPC up ahead that gives you a time quest to kill Queen Moskva. Once you get it, you need to just run all the way up to her. You can Source come back high. for the soil after that. So here goes! Oh, as you're running, dot this big spider called Neath as you run past him. He drops the last temporary power, which is an AoE sleep, and he also drops a knife. You'll see why that's important. Cutscene time! Your job is not yet done, Deva. My suffering will end only when Queen Mosqua is cast out. Eliminate this thief who uses my power to hatch her eggs. Mosqua's death will let you crack her eggs. You must do this to reach Celestius's domain. A foul wind will arise from within each egg. Jump into the current and spread your wings and you will reach the domain of Celestius. The domain within me, which Celestius has usurped the source of this chaos. I wish you good fortune, Deva. All depends on you. Okay, so after the cutscene, you can kill the big spider and get the temporary AoE sleep skill and Orkin's knife. This is why you need the knife. Let me kill these mobs real fast. Okay, now behind this waterfall is a vine wall. You need the knife to open it. You can buy and sell stuff here around. at Dorkin, and you can break the big egg behind him with the shoelac hatchet that Dorkin sells. Sometimes you get nice loot, other times it's just crappy Take stuff. I just sell them if I don't like them. So long now. Take a look around. 
Now this fight with Queen Moscow is pretty easy too. Maybe because I'm a cleric and my 2k DP is awesome. <laughs> the Mosquito summons adds, but I'm just focusing on Queen Moscow because as soon as she dies, the rest usually disappears. Well, most of them. Okay, so let's get back to the last two Talic Soil. These are the locations. Number five. And number six. This one is the location of another quest that I couldn't get because you only do it once. But just to show you where it is. Okay, back to the mosquito den. After I broke the egg earlier, there's this big air vent thingy that blows you up to Celestial's domain. There's like aliens up there that hits really hard and summon ads. But let's just get straight to Celestial. That tree makes me want to take a nap. Maybe I'll do just that. Anyways, quest turn-ins. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed watching. Bye guys.